for all visual celebrity news, interviews, gossips and music analysis. Click and subscribe to Native Television on YouTube. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at Native TVGH. Native Television. We create, you celebrate. And we create you celebrate native television. My name is DJ Ashman, the power behind music, and you're watching Chat with Ashman. And today I have the iconic Kwabna Kwabna in the building, Charlie. Ghana music, if you discuss where you know mention Kwabna Kwabna, then Charlie, you be like, you know, one just no crane on per se, Ubeka. I've known Kwabna Kwabna from the days of Asha Studios to Fit Project, and now we are here. Yen Shadam Bon Komo Sabene Mihuno. Because he brings back a lot of memories from the hash house. Did that time we call him Brad George? <laughs> Brad Bra, Bra George. Yeah, it's Udu Brad George. Yeah, Akwa, welcome yeah, to yeah, chat yeah, with yeah, Ashman yeah, on thanks. native television. Now, uh, I've known you for a long time. That time, you've not even recorded Asso. Uh, you were doing stuff with the last two, Hammer and Co. All of a sudden, I switched from there because I was a DJ, so I moved to top radio. Then I was with the uh, DJ virus. Yeah, virus. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. all of a sudden, a ball. I saw we're like, yo, whose tune is this? Mm -hmm. Come on, the song didn't come from Hashash. That's right. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. I want to take the conversation from there. Why did you record Hasso at Apetu Studio but not at Hashash? Oh, I think <laughs> um, the period at Hashash mm -hmm. um, I think ended somewhere around. The Ash has been in 2004. Yeah. yeah. That was like when the. Period, your period. Oh, period okay, okay, around, yeah. okay. I think my period around Ash was uh, between. Uh, correct. 2000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, between 2000 and 2003. Okay, yeah. okay. Like okay. Late 1999. Like that there, side. Yeah, oh, Ash Ash. Oh, yes. okay, okay. So that's why you moved to yes, Appear yes. End to record mm -hmm. that jam. That's right. What, what happened was. I after Hashash two thousand three, um, I met Quentin. Okay. He was um, he actually was looking for somebody to to do, to do stuff with uh, vocals. Okay. On on his track. And, and oh, because that's what you did the AC. Exactly. Okay. So we did AC. So after doing AC with GQ, mm -hmm. even yeah. that we recorded at Hashash. The Hashash, yeah. Exactly. So after that, that's when he had tracks. That, um, I had recorded. Yeah. So yeah. we had Asso and we plan to record it. Wow. So wow. That's how come I went. Are you going to Asso? So only plan to record it. Oh, okay. So Asso is like 18 years, right? Yeah, 2005. 2005. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From 2005 to now. And it's still a jam. Yeah, it is. Uh, to 20, 2019, we had Afro Nation in Ghana. And it's part of the Ghanaian songs in the playlist of every DJ, like a DJ from Diaspora. I saw it's part of his playlist. Yeah. Just recently, one of my friends in the UK had a party with most of them are not Ghanaians. Yeah. And his playlist, I saw is there. Yeah. As an artist who dropped that song, let's say, 18 years ago, how do you feel? Oh, it's, it's, it's the beauty of art. Okay. And it's, it's, I mean, I'm humbled. I appreciate how the mm, 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 mm. love the art. It's, it's art. And, it, you know, if you can appreciate that. Okay. Art, yeah. Big, big, big up, big up. That's art, that tune. I don't know. There is magic in 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 that sound. And after that song, we drop uh, Bibiniba and other other songs. All of a sudden, we didn't hear from Kwabna Kwabna. I know music, Charlie. You know, be every day you go, Charlie. We make a record, make because our people in America, some artists can go hibernation now. Bam, yeah. boom. Now a baby blow. Yeah. But you went off. People were saying stuff about Kwabna. Then, 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 then. I don't want to go there, yeah. but you came back and over here with uh, the sound with Samini. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the title? Adult uh, Music. Adult Music. Yeah. And that, that tune also took us by yeah. surprise. Yeah. What's, 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 what's with you and your writing skills when it comes to such songs? Uh, like, I, like I said earlier, bro, um, it's, it's all art. Okay. And so as an artist, I, I'm always your fans. I mean, 
everybody. everybody. Okay. It's all about like you know my mentality for music, especially when when I'm writing or when I'm creating. Mm. My my sole aim is to is to um, excite my listener. Is to I can do my best to make my listener happy. Happy. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. okay. Wow. That's that's great. That's great. Yeah. After that tune to. Yeah, Kwabana is there. He yeah, did yeah. Etu Yemuda yeah. and a couple of songs. Yeah. Of songs. yeah. 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 Then, boom, in Nigeria. Yeah. I was surprised. I was asking Nashis today. <laughs> ah, Nashis, Kwabana, Kwabana, no, show no. I did not know because of Nigeria, Wana. <laughs> and I, in Jumapana, why are some of the good works you've yeah. done? Yeah. That's what has given me, let's say, that recommendation for mm. the Nigerians to look for you. What, who established that deal? How was it? Uh, um, nothing but um, um, they 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 saw what I'm doing. Okay. And, um, they had a project. And mm -hmm. They felt that um, I mean I fit yeah. to actually you know, contribute. Contribute, yeah. My, my part. Mm -hmm. That's it. So right. that, I mean, over the years, I think um, I met Basket. For, but okay. Uh, some years back, but then quite recently, when he was working on his project, he was like he wants you to be part. Few, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's 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 cool. So, uh, boss, uh, last week, Ghana, we had a program called Citizen Global Citizen. Yeah. Something something, and yeah. we had our artists on it. Yeah. We had most of them are basically let's say new arts, mm. but. Uh, when we went to uh, South Africa, they had some of their old arts to on the stage. Mm -hmm. But here in Ghana, most of the arts they had, like, uh, they were more like new arts, mm -hmm. which I, we didn't feel like our identity, though the music we had it, but the identity of Ghana, whereby you know, say, Ghana, we do high life music. Ah. <sighs> You know, you, you, uh -huh. you see, I, I was wondering something. Why? You know what? I'll mm. tell you something. Mm. It's not good for us Ghanaians mm -hmm. to actually um, always come to talk about things mm. we already know. Okay. Do you get what I'm trying mm. to say? Mm. It's not good for us to do that. If we do that, it basically means that we only want to talk. But we don't really want to actually see it as something which is worrying us. Can you understand? Yeah. So when you talk of identity, in recent times, we've had um, fusion of, I mean, music. It's, it's all over the world right, right now. People also talk about numbers more mm -hmm. than art, than than identity, than representation. Issue. Are you getting what yeah, I'm trying yeah. to say? The argument is a lot, and people have different opinions. So, so when it comes to that argument, I think um, it's it's quite relative okay. as to what somebody else also thinks. thinks. Okay. <laughs> okay. You get what I'm okay. trying to say. Okay. But as Ghanaians, if we are still proud of how we present ourselves, ourselves. out there mm -hmm. and how we actually market ourselves out there. If we all collectively, if we all are proud, then so be it. Neat. Okay. Okay. So I had life not being represented on such a huge stage is normal. It's it's a bit I don't know. I, I, if you ask me, mm. Kwabna, I had no idea about it. Because maybe okay. okay. You get what I'm trying mm. to say. But what it is is Whoever it is that is contacted, whoever mm -hmm. it is that is responsible for uh, or who receives them, they're supposed to inform them. Mm -hmm. And so based on the information, it was done. So mm -hmm. so be it. Uh, anyway, well, with someone like me, <laughs> yeah. I, th I don't think, I think we should have had something like that. Because if yeah. we, they, they imported I'm a piano artist from right. South Africa to come and exhibit their culture in a way, yeah. I think we should also have something like... No, you know, if you ask me, if you ask me, we were represented. So I is hip life, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so at least, he, and the songs he, he did on the stage uh, featured Castro. Ka on it. Okay, I do now. Exactly. So, 
yeah, the argument if we were represented or not represented is flawed. Mm. But then if, if let's say, we are, we are talking about the slots we had mm -hmm. and maybe how we wanted to represent the slots, mm -hmm. then, then we are talking. You okay. get what I'm trying to say? Okay. So, uh, uh, for me, I think, I think um, we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And moreover, with such events, we all can't be on the stage. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, they may have to select, select a, some, few a few to represent us. So... Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. The representation was amazing. For me, I don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They represented Ghana beautifully. And mm -hmm. yes, kudos to Jackie, kudos to Stone Boy, kudos to Sarko. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big, big one day. Better. But with all that, how do you see Ghana music uh, compared to your days? I'm still here. Mm. You, you no, know, like uh, when you were coming. Yeah, I'll say we need to learn. Because in the midst of um, great things, mm. if we don't learn, we'll mess up. Okay. Learn. What do we? Reason why I'm saying that is we are in the midst of great things right now. Mm. So many great things is happening to African music. Mm. So if we are able to look at our art and our presentation very very well, mm -hmm. and look at our art like. It is something we are exporting. It is something which is a commodity. Yeah. If we look at it that, that way, way, our whole mindset, our whole energy, everything towards that artist yeah. or that kind of commodity will mm -hmm. change. Which, oh, because okay. we know its value. Its value. It's true. I get the point. Do you get what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say? Mm -hmm. So, for Ghana music and where it has come from, and where it is now, we are in a great place. Okay. If you look at if you look at it very well, we are in a great place. But the problem is the art need professional minds to mm -hmm. direct it. The art, that's the art is exactly. all the space. The whole art. Okay. You get what I'm trying to say. That's the reason why you probably might be asking me about about our representation with the global citizens. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like the people who receive people, mm -hmm. the gatekeepers. Keepers. Do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? If they have the energy or they have the will to actually push the music, music. or push the industry or push the Ghanaian agenda, mm -hmm. but not nothing personal yeah. or nothing they are gaining okay. or not for their personal or not for anything... Yeah. Which has to do with their own oh, gains. Okay. Then so be it. Then that's great. Okay. You get what I'm trying okay. to say. That's okay. that's the only problem. Mm -hmm. But then, aside that, aside that, um, it's amazing. We are in great moments. We for, we we see our our new acts actually doing great. Because uh, back then we don't hear much from our Nigerian brothers yeah. taking over. We were rather doing it. Yeah. Like, so you see, they took over. let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. That perception mm -hmm. of this person took over, that person took over. Guess what? When you were talking, you said a time came, you took over. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to be taken over forever? <laughs> no. <laughs> sure, someone will also come to. So. There you go. But it seems they've dominated, like. No, you see, let me tell you something. The only reason why we see it that way mm -hmm. is because. We fail to see another person win. We, we, we don't want mm. to see another person win. This is deep. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a very sad out. situation. Mm -hmm. See, even with our football, if we don't win, we see all kinds of things. Mm. Wow. This is deep. Check it. It's it's a Ghana thing. It's it's like if we don't win, win. if it is not me, then the whole thing is wrong. wrong. But we cannot live like that. Wow. We should learn. We should learn to accept, or also make somebody also win. Yeah, yeah. I, I get, I get, I get the point. You get what I'm get, saying. I get the point you're making. Yeah, and then again, learn from. 
people who win. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you lost yesterday, the defeat should teach you. The defeat shouldn't make you bitter. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't make you envious that you actually want to throw something dirty on, on the winner. On winner. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. You accept okay. your defeat. Feats you learn you from you. your defeat. And then you learn from who won and mm. how they won. Mm. Mm. What they did to win. Yeah. And then probably you can learn that. Then maybe, maybe next time. You come out big. Like, there you go. Wow, that, that, that's deep. There that's deep. I don't, I, I've never thought of that. Yeah. Like, oh, Charlie, these people, then they win too much. Oh, what, 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 how we do to win? The man will say, no good. No, you see, I'll tell you something. Apart from anything, what we also fail to do as a people is we don't accept what we have and what we don't have. Mm. I'll give you an example. Okay, so Elon Musk was able to go to space, makes uh, um, going to space much less expensive See. lately. Okay, why would you go envy that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, but the envy that's what. Why wouldn't you go envy that? Uh, wow. That's that's my problem. The thing is. They have something that has helped them mm. to get somewhere. Mm. And apart from anything too, it is something that they've been doing for a very long, long time. time. So of course, consistency will bring success. It's, it's true. Okay. 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 Now come to your demography. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> come, come to your... <laughs> your space. Your space. <laughs> How many... Things have we created, mm. and we ourselves have fought over it and shamed it. I'll give you a, second, a typical example: Azonto. <sighs> eventually, so sad. eventually, <laughs> even the, the, the Nigerians were credited with it. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> even though I made a stage yeah, here in Ghana. Yeah. Because guess what? We hate to see even our own brother win. Hmm. Where is that problem coming from? It is from all of us. Bro. Our upbringing or what? Bro, you see, I'm telling you something. If we all don't start to accept our very bad attitude, okay? One of the attitude is, the moment something goes up, we all come together to see it come down. Is it the media? I said we all. <laughs> every every, because, <laughs> every sector. When you are climbing up, when you are climbing up, and they see your zeal, the fresh talent, the energy, mm. they all come together, saying he's good. He's after I tested it before. Yeah, yeah. He's like that. He's amazing. He's that. He's that. He's that. He's that. Okay. Now you rise. Then. The same people want to bring you now. Come together to say all kinds of things, which ninety nine point nine percent untrue. It's just because you used to be here, and now you are there. That's the only wrong thing you did. Yeah. Is it is it like that with? All, like Ghanaians in Ghana or Ghanaians in the uh, diaspora outside, the, are they also like that? Because I know you've been touring. <laughs> I'll tell you something. There is a certain man who is Nigerian, who I respect so much, Shopsi Do. Shopsi Do. Shopsi. Okay. Yes, he's in, he's in Manchester. He's one of the bloggers. Okay. Yeah, he's got an Afrobeat podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guess what? I wish every media person in Ghana learns from this man. How he's proud of every, Af not even the like, only Nigerian yeah, artist, though. African. Every African artist. I'll be calling you on artist. IG. You call them thank ambassadors. You, thank you. <laughs> thank you. How his energy, energy God, his energy towards every African. If me, 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 if I see him, mm. 
how he oh my goodness he yeah, makes me this, feel good as an artist he makes me f he gives me energy, energy to 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 perform as an artist yeah. to actually appreciate what he's giving me wow i know I, i've been following you on ig and yes. i see some of the stuff yes the energy yes the, the real power to do stuff mention one Ghanaian who does that no i think if you do even do that with some of the artists would they even appreciate that how some people may hello 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 the man i mentioned doesn't I don't even I, I, I don't even remember the last time I called him. Are you listening to me very well? Mm -hmm. He doesn't need my appreciation. Okay. <laughs> you see. Yeah, he's doing it from. You see, from mean. the point you're doing something and you expect something back, it is flawed. It is flawed. From that point. Wow, well, yakaka sabi wa say say say. Because when a Ghanaian helps you, oh my God, you need to pay him like God knows how many folks. Because he is, he's expecting something. <laughs> how many times haven't you heard stuff on radio? I made this person. I brought that person. Mm -hmm. I did that mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Who of? Oh my. I've, I've, I, I was watching Banky W's interview some time ago, and they were talking about whiskey. Yeah. Yes, we all know Banky brought whiskey. Yeah. But he just talked about whiskey for like two, five to five minutes. Yes. But. Yes. Me bow. A king, <laughs> listen, a king who must say I'm the king mm. is no true king. So he just said that we all know that he brought whiskey. Yeah. Does he have to explain himself? No, 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 no. Thank no. you very much. If, uh, I get it. Yeah, a yeah, king like, who must say must change. A king mm -hmm. who must say I am the king. king. It's no true king. That's our problem. That's our problem. Who is the king of U United Kingdom now? Oh, uh, Prince Charles. Thank you very much. Must he tell you that he's the king? No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice one there. Nice one there. Come now, so uh, with the scenario and everything you've given us. Yeah. If you had the likes of you, like let's say two, I know you definitely have conversation with your colleagues. Yeah. Do they think like you are thinking? Everybody has his own thoughts, bro. And I cannot say my my thoughts are better than somebody's mm, thoughts. Mm. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions mm -hmm. and their own astutes. I have my own mm. astutes. I have my own um, way of of doing things. Mm -hmm. And yes, somebody might appreciate it, somebody might not appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think, yes, my colleagues, yes, as artists, that's why, you know, the, they produce things mm -hmm, out mm -hmm. there you appreciate. Yeah. So, yeah, they go through what they go through to also produce and mm -hmm. also do what they got to do. So, yeah, everybody's fucking Doing, minding their yeah, business, business, man. Yeah. So, come now, uh, at Back then, Ghana music, we drop albums. Yeah, I know you have a couple of albums. I, yeah. I have most of them. Yeah, and then uh, all of a sudden we went singles. Yeah, I heard you are coming out with an album with that an was yeah. February. I'm it was an album. Yeah, album, so. but we didn't hear anything. I check a cry. Yeah. You know, once I'm making an album, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's never been easy. <laughs> <laughs> and it will not be easy. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, too, you may want to put a few good things in place mm. to actually, you know, make the album what you expect, expect. to make. So, yeah. Albums and singles and box sets and EPs mm. and everything is part of an artist's yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. So at every point in time, you can decide to release an album or release a single or whatever it is, whatever you are blessed with. It's I mean, a gift, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a gift. So we, the consumers, everybody, if uh, the, the only thing that has, that has made this whole thing become this way is because of the business that's attached mm -hmm. to it. Well, show business, a very show business. Mm -hmm. okay, show show yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But business, is yeah. like yeah. like yeah. 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 into that. You know, we kind of for, forget that it's a celebration mm -hmm. and we need to celebrate mm -hmm. and appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the album, there, by all means, I'll release it this year. This year? Yes. Okay. And I'm giving you a month, November. 
Okay, and I'm good. giving you wow, a date. Wow, exclusive on native television. Yeah, mm-hmm. November. Okay, November okay. by all means. So it's it's, it's a, 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 a a who album? A How many full tracks? Album, eighteen track album. Oh, ish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the first time I said A and B. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, it's been a while. Like okay. it's been a while since people actually had a feel of a Kwabna Kwabna mm-hmm. album, album. Kwabna Kwabna yeah. music. Yeah. And, yeah, mm-hmm. so I thought of it, I'm like, okay, let me just put it out there for music lovers. Everybody who loves music, go get the Famisa album. Famisa album. Very soon, yeah. Okay. I'm going to release a single. Okay. By all means in October mm-hmm. to actually prepare the album. everybody towards the album. album. Yeah, so I released that single in October. That's next month. Month, I mean, few weeks. Few weeks, okay. And GBI. Okay. So when we release that single, we'll give you a pre-order of... The album of the album, like so, you see all the tracks over there. Okay, nice one. So, what are some of the features we have on the album? Um, we have D Black on the album. We okay. have Sefa on the album. Oh, okay. We have uh, Kiddy on the album. Wow. Um, uh, hey. Oh my God. Oh my God so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even the best yeah, trainer was on the crack there. Yeah, talk on the album. Yeah, talk. Yeah. Hey, then is it hip hop or Kofi what? Jama is on the album as well. Oh, really? Yeah, Tulane Case on the album as well. Kwame Na MP is on the album. Uh, so it's more like you had the most of the new guys yeah, on, on it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like most of the new guys. We have, have musicians on it. Mm, <laughs> I want to ask this question. Yeah. What's, what's, what's making you like relevant? Like, Kwame is always there. What? Yeah, because because art never dies. The art never dies. You know what I because mean? Because the reason is most of your colleagues you started with them. Yeah. Most of them are nowhere to be found. Right. It's probably their decision to do something else. You get what I'm trying to yeah. say? It, it might be so many reasons. Their decision to do something else. But then, for me, I feel like I, I am an artist. I am a musician. I love doing music, mm. and I am um, always creating music. Yeah. So, um, there is no point where, and guess what? Like, I don't really think about relevance, though. <laughs> I yeah. don't really think about that. I I am only like a musician. Okay. That's okay. it. Okay. I guess I just want to do music. I sometimes go to program. I play weddings and yeah. stuff. The new people, like young folks. They will yeah. come to oh, but when you were if you pop now, pop now, but you will play this, play this. Yeah. But I say the new school, the new. Let me put it, the yeah. new school yeah. are so in tune into your works. Yeah, you understand? Right. They feel like oh, it's part of us. Mm. But oh, but you be oh, we mean that's for my year. Uh, you know that's what I ask of your relevancy no, because what it is is for me. I create music. I don't do things based on trends. Okay. Okay. I I don't I I don't really care about trends. trends. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why your production is. Yeah, I care about authenticity. I care about presenting mm-hmm. a piece. Okay, presenting an a, you know something. Mm-hmm. It is a, a, a go, 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 and I want to sing to it. Mm-hmm. I want to sing to it. Okay, and then when I sing to it or when I create something to that thing and. You appreciate Cheater. it or you like it. Mm. I'm grateful. Yeah. For instance, the sound you did with uh, yeah. episode. Yeah, at him. At him. Yeah. Big tune. Yeah. Uh, but it seems our media or radio is not doing justice to that song. <laughs> because from everything, the song, <laughs> the sound, the sound itself, yeah. it should be topping charts. You see, I tell you what. I tell you what. We have a media space where everybody goes on there for their own self. Okay. That's the workers or... No, we have a media space mm. like that. Mm. Everybody goes on there mm-hmm. for their own selves. Okay. Are you getting me? Mm. Now, nobody can be blamed. Okay? Reason. We don't have an agenda. As a country. As a people, okay, we don't, and that is a very dangerous thing for any society. It means that anybody can just enter and scatter us, us. and we all accept it. (laughs) Tune into radio right now. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, me, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. I can only be producing my music, music and be doing my best as an artist. Mm -hmm. It is up to the people. the people to actually support me and give me the, the, the push and actually present me to where I need to be able to, uh, to exhibit my, my, my talent mm -hmm. or exhibit what I can do. Mm -hmm. If your own people say they won't take you, what will you do? Nothing. Thank you. Wow. If your own people say they won't take you, Charlie, <laughs> you have nothing to do. My name is DJ Ashman, and it's chat with Ashman. Today I'm here with the legendary Kwabna. Uh, Kwabna, we're having a discussion on chat with Ashman. Charlie, we they can't end the conversation, and I want to know my big boss right here is uh, final words to we out there. Charlie, or say or drop it album. Yeah. Or drop it album. November, yeah. right? For all music lovers. Uh, no. November, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah, in November. November. Yeah. In November, all platforms. Yeah. They better drop your album. But I'll drop a single in October. October is my birth month. Oh, really? NT, yes. Hey, ashes. NT. Hey, October, fool. Yeah. <laughs> um, like I do it almost every October. Yeah, mm. last year, so yeah, me drop it with mama. So mm. yeah, this year I'll drop something for you before the album. Mm. So yeah. So this year you will drop something before the album. But what you will drop? No, what's the title? Sweetie, sweetie, hey, another love song. <laughs> I because you see, our society needs love. Okay. Our society. The jealousy be too much. Yeah, our society needs love. Our society needs people to relax more okay. and understand. Say, it's not that deep. <laughs> I, I get, I get no, it's not that deep. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. My name is DJ Ashman, it's chat with Ashman <laughs> on native television. Don't yeah. forget to hit the subscribe button. Charlie, I'm out like that. Peace. For all visual celebrity news, interviews, gossips, and music analysis, click and subscribe to Native Television on YouTube. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Twitter and TikTok at Native TV GH. Native Television. We create, you celebrate.